Yeah, Bernie, we're on pace to see 120 people killed on Portland streets this year. Let that sink in. Now, in all likelihood, we won't reach that number, but still, that number of 120 is about double the number of people killed on Portland streets last year. And last year's totals are the highest since the mid-90s. Bottom line, all of us, drivers, cyclists, and pedestrians alike, need to be careful. This was the scene on I-5 late Monday night. Police investigate a crash that killed a pedestrian. It happened just south of the Interstate Bridge. The victim was the 10th person killed on Portland roads since the beginning of the year. I think it's um, inexcusable. That is the voice of Rob Ryan, father of Aubriana Rawlings, another person killed this year in Portland. The 25-year-old woman loved to paint, sing, and dance. She's just a beautiful soul and uh, you know, loved and adored by so many people. Rawlings lost her life on Saturday, January 22nd, near Southeast 160th in Powell. Investigators say Rawlings was the victim of a hit and run crash. Some moments I'm fine and in other moments I just I want to uh, just hide away from the world. I don't want to see or talk to anybody. Turns out Ryan is not alone in his grief. Less than 48 hours before his daughter's death, a Beaverton man was killed in a crash near Southeast McLaughlin and Holgate. We're having more criminal cases related to these fatal crashes. Sergeant Kevin Allen of the Portland Police Bureau points to a few theories for the 10 traffic related fatalities. He says the Bureau's traffic division is lacking a patrol element. He says the darker winter months and low visibility may be a contributing factor. And there's always the possibility of street racing. Street racing it continues to be a huge issue um, in the city of Portland. And um, a lot of these cases, you know, we're certainly looking at whether there's connection to street racing. It's unclear if street racing had anything to do with Aubriana Rawlings' death. What is clear is that whoever hit and killed her left the scene. It's selfish, you know, very, very selfish to her and to her family and all those that loved her to not come forward and, and take responsibility for that. Of course, anyone with information about that Aubriana Rawlings hit and run or any traffic crash for that matter should contact the Portland Police Bureau. Back to you in the studio.